Hello everyone. Today we'll make a script that allows us to automatically create floors that match room boundaries, including any room cutouts. These floors would be based on room parameters that represent floor finish. This script is based on the OZBIM Guru script for generating floor finishes with some extra filters and slight modifications for Revit 2023. Let's get started. Today we would use two extra packages, Crumple and Archilab. To start with, let's get all rooms in the current project. Search for Categories node and select Rooms, then get all elements of category and connect it. Create a group and name it one.getAllRooms in the project. Now search for room.location node, connect elements to room input. Also get object.isNull node and connect point to object input. Get list.filter by bull mask node, connect bull to mask and elements from group 1 to list. That way we filter all rooms that are unplaced in the current project. Create a group and name it 2.remove unplaced rooms. Search for element.getParameterValueByName node and connect out output to element. Create a code block and type floor finish and connect to parameter name input. Now we need to remove all rooms that don't have specified parameter values. Search for string.isNull or empty node, connect var to str input. Then get list.filter by bullmask node and connect bull to mask and var to list input. Copy the filter by bullmask node, but this time connect out output from group 2 to list. Create a group and name it free.filter to rooms with floor finish value only. Now let's get floor types. Search for element classes node and select floor type. Also get all elements of class node and connect element classes to it. That way we get all floor types in the project. Create a group and name it 4.get all floor types in the project. Get element.get parameter value by name node and connect elements to element input. Then create a code block and type type mark and connect to parameter name input. Create a group and name it 5.get floor type mark value. Now we need to make sure that we use the correct floor type for each room. Search for list.contains node, connect var from group 5 to list and out output from group 4 to item. Make sure that the lesson is set to longest and that list input is used in second level. Get list.filter by boomask node, connect bool to mask and out output from group 4 to list input. Create a group and name it 6.check if floor finish value match with floor type mark. Search for list.index of node and connect in output from group 6 to element input. Then get var output from group 5 and connect it to list input. Now get list.getItemItIndex node, connect int output to index input and connect elements output from group 4 to list input. Create a group and name it 7. Dot associate each room with floor finish type. With this logic, we make sure that each room would have the correct floor type used. Search for element.getParameterValueByName node and connect item to element. Then create a code block, type default thickness and connect to parameter name input. Create a group and name it 8.getFloorThickness. We would need it later to define the offset for each floor finish above the level. Now 
Now we need to get each room level. Copy the list.filter by Bullmask node from group 6 and connect the second out output from group 3 to list input instead. Search for element.getParameterValue by name node and connect in output to element input. Create a code block and type level, then connect it to parameter name input. Get a levels.getByName node and connect var output to name input. That way we convert level name value to an actual level element. Create a group and name it 9.getLevels of each room. Search for room.finish boundary node and connect in output to room input. It will give us a list of boundaries for selected rooms, including any cutouts. Create a group and name it 10.getRoomBoundaries. Now for the final part, we need to get floors.create node from crumple package. Connect level from group 9 to levels input, curve from group 10 to curve lists input, var from group 8 to offset input, and item from group 7 to floor types input. Create a group and name it 11. Dot create floor finishes. Now the script is done, let's prepare it for Dino player. To make it more flexible to use, we can change the floor type parameter from type mark to any others. To do that, create a string, rename it to floor finish parameter name, make it input and connect to parameter name input instead. We can do the same to room parameters. Get a string, rename it to room finish parameter name, make it input and connect to parameter name input. We can leave a default parameter value to be floor finish by typing it in the string. Do similar in floor finish parameter name as well and type type mark. Now save it and let's test it. As you can see, in this example I created a few rooms with different floor finish types. There are also some rooms that have no finish parameter value and a room with an empty parameter value too. When the script is opened, we can specify what parameter we want to obtain the information from rooms and from the floor types. For now let's keep it in the default state with type mark and floor finish parameters. Now if we press run, you will see all floor finishes being generated. You will see that each floor is also offset by the default thickness amount defined by the structure of that floor type. Each floor also went around any columns that cut through rooms. I hope you like this video and see you next time. Thank you.